So now I have a new concept called the project management success. I can use it in regression. Okay? Yes. I will make it again, okay? That's very simple. So now I have a new column called project management success. Let's make a new concept, which is, how can I make a new concept? Transform, Transform. compute. Yes. I don't want project management, I want project investment. Success. Don't forget to make balances. Okay. This one plus this one over. So it's a two question and take the average. They are two questions. You have to keep the brackets. Yes, don't forget to practice, yes. Because they practice, if you, if you forget it, it will divide this by this and plus. Yeah. So you have to make practice. Some people use the average, but I don't want to waste time. So I search here for the average and the Don't waste your time. Okay? And. Uh, I have two devices. Okay? So now the third, which is project management or benefits management. So transform. Compute variable. Benefit, reali benefit realization management. Okay, BRM. Ah, this one plus this one plus this one over three, three questions. Yes, over three. Okay, I want to do project management. How can I do that? Huh? Transform. Transform. Compute. Compute. Project management, PM. How can I do that? Four questions. Yes. One, two, three, Four. over. Now I'm ready for analysis. Let's make the dragon regression. Very difficult. I want to analyze the regression. How can I do that? Analyze. Analyze regression. Very difficult. Okay? So analyze regression. Linear. Because we use a linear one. Very simple. Or what we not want to test now, does project management affect project management success? So which one is independent and which one is dependent? Independent and dependent. The cause and effect. Okay. Project management or project management success? Which one is independent? Project management. Or project management success? Project management affect project management success. Independent and dependent. Which one is independent? Project management is independent. It's free. Yeah. But the success is dependent on the project management. So is it dependent, which is the result? Yes, yeah. it's dependent on the first one. So here we have project management is what? Independent. Independent. Project management success. Where is project management? Project management affects project management success. Yes, this one. OK. That's it. This is regression analysis. Now, regression analysis is finished. This is your thesis finished now. As I said, SPSS statistics very easy. It's very easy. The problem is not in that. The problem is how to formulate your theory. Okay? Here, let's understand the report. This report says it's significant. Zero, zero, zero it means significant. It means there is a relationship. If it's 0.1, it means the level of error is 10%. Here, roughly, the level of error is nothing. So the confidence is determined that the, the degree of confidence in the results more than 99%. I'm sure of this result. So I, I can publish this in, in five stars. I have now new theory, and the level of error is roughly nothing. 22%. Which means what? Which means project management affects project management success by 22%. 78% we don't know. I explain only 22%. Why? 
project management success happen because this organization implemented project management. So project management leads to project management success by 20%, 22%. Okay, with the impact of roughly here, 0 0.5. 0 0.5, it means like there are five skills. So more you do in project management, the half you have in project management success. The higher this number, it means the higher the impact. Okay, so you have R squared and you have beta. How many numbers you want to see? Three. Significance, R squared, and beta. Okay? So now it seems to be that project management affects project management success. The first proposition says, yes, project management affects project management success. Let's see the second one. How can I make regression to test the impact of project management on project investment success? Okay. Well, I guess we know now how to make the, the regression. Can we move to the multiple regression? Because we are running no. out of time. We'll not be able. I will, take, I will use now multiple regression. Just no, wait. it's I up know. to you and them as well. I know, Would you I know. like to continue? Or? Yes, yes, we'll take multiple regression now. Just one second. How can I make project management on project investment success? Project management on project investment success, how can I make that? Analyze. Analyze. Mm -hmm. Regression, we want to make regression. Yeah. Linear. Mm -hmm. and instead of project management success, I wanted to select what? Which one? Project, project investment success. So not this one, but I want project success. Now, what do you think? Is it significant? If it is, is it significant? Yes, significant. So I'm sure 99% that there is a relationship. And it contributes by only 14%. Not bad. The previous one, 22. Now this one, 14%. The B is 0.4. So it affects, OK? But less. OK? Let's see the benefits management. How can I measure the impact of benefits management on project ma on project investment success? Okay. Analyze. Regression. Regression. Linear. Linear. Mm -hmm. Take PMM and put okay. benefits management. What do you think? Significant. Very significant. It's significant. Mm -hmm. The R squared is 14%. Okay, and the impact is nice. 0.39. Okay, mm. is it clear? Yeah. So now I want to see both project management and the benefits management into one model. Mm. So now I want to see both one time. Project management and benefits management at the same time on project investment success. Okay? How can I do that? Analyze. Regression. Regression. Linear. I don't want BRM only. I want BRM and the project management, right? Yes. So I want PM and PRM at the same time on project investment stuff, OK? So R square is 19%. Look, it was 14. But when I put, so this only 14%. This only 14%. When I put both together, it should be 28. But in reality, it's only 19. Okay. So the improvement is only by 5%. It's significant, yes, it's significant. So the results is significant. I can rely on them. The impact of BRM is 0.2, it's decreased. The impact of PM is 0.28. This is multiple regression. This is multiple regression. So regression and multiple regression are the same thing. Only regression, you put one to one. Multiple regression, more than one onto one. This is multiple regression. Now we have a big problem, and this is the last thing. The guy at the beginning, he said benefits management affects project investment success. Now I question the results. Why? Because I'm not sure 
really benefit management is true or not. Okay? If I make correlation between benefit management and diversity management, I will find the relationship is about 50%. Which means that 50% of organization implements this, implements this. So maybe the project investment success is driven from project management, not benefit management. Because this organization is the same, the same. So I wanted to exclude, I want to see really this one or this guy has a problem because he doesn't measure this. This guy, he measured only this. So I think he has a big problem because in reality, this and this are one thing. So he measured this in implicit way. If I want to find out correlation analysis, I want to analyze the correlation. How can I analyze the correlation? How can I analyze the correlation? Analyze. Correlation, what is the correlation? Correlation. Okay, I bury it. I want to analyze the relationship between P and H. You will find that roughly 46% of organizations are using POS. BM and the benefit management. Which means that, no, sorry, benefit management alone may be not sufficient. Maybe you have a problem in your way of estimating. That's why I use the structure equation model to find out really benefit management. This problem is called multicollinearity. Multicollinearity means what? Means that they are affecting each other. The dependent, the independent factors affecting each other, which leads to false results. So take care, if you use regression, you have to assure that the factors are not correlated. If they are correlated, you cannot use multiple regression. Okay? This is what we call model specification. You have to assure that the model could fit the data or not. In this case, I claim now regression and the multiple regression is, are not useful and helpful for this kind of analysis. So I use the structure equation model. Because they are not independent. Because they affect each other, yes. It should be there is no correlation. If there is no correlation, I can say, and it's clear, clear this is only 14, this is only 14. When they come together, it's 19. This is why I put question mark. How come? 14 plus 14 should be 28. When it says just 19, only improved by 5%, big question mark to me. Okay? Thank you very much for this time. I don't want to take more than that because I know I have another picture. Okay? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch structural equation modeling. Maybe later or on YouTube mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, we can yes. uh, just follow his YouTube video.